Millie Baxter. We're here again to give you some inspiration, some ideas as to what to do um, in isolation while you're inside. Um, and for this one, all you need is a pen and a piece of paper. And very often, I'm sure that you might have said to your kids, go draw something, but they don't know what to draw. So we're going to do some animals based around drawing around literally just your hand. Okay, so I'm going to teach Millie how to do this and you can follow along as well. So, we're going to do a little cow, I think. So, put your hand on the piece of paper. You need your little finger, your knuckle facing upwards and like your thumb out slightly, just like that, yes. And I'm just going to draw round the hand. Don't worry about getting too close, it doesn't matter, as long as you get a vague shape something like that it's a very strange shape we're going to draw some lucky. horns on like that mine are a bit skinny there you go we've got some horns on yep we're going to do i'll turn it round again a big nose like that sort of shape there you go. And of course we need two nostrils in there, two big eyes, I'm now drawing upside down. Put them on there. I'm oh. going to give mine eyelids. Should we do a nice smiley mouth? Big smiley mouth. What do cows often have around the neck? Um, a collar. A collar. Let's pop. Give them a, bit a collar on. Now I'm going to try and draw a bell upside down. That's not easy. There we go. How do you draw the bell? The bell, a shape up and round. That's it. But with a bottom on. And also we could do some rings around there. And there we have. Okay. Fantastic. Right, next one. Let's speed up. Get another piece of paper, so that's our can. Should we do a pig? Let's do a pig. Okay, well, we're going to do a pig. So, same shape. Same shape. We need the little finger and the bigger finger up and your thumb out slightly, and we're going to go round our hands. So it's fantastic to just be able to use your imaginations. And there we go, it's a little bit of a cheeky pig sort of face. Mine's a very warm we face. need to have a big nose. So a big nose in the middle. At the moment it looks like a mouth. And there we go, that's definitely a pig nose. Also pigs often have big little cheeks, don't they? Yeah. And then we're going to put some eyes in there. Should we put some eyebrows on? Yeah. There's some eyebrows and a mouth. What are we forgetting? Ears. Ears. I might have to turn this round for my ears at the minute. So ears, I'm going to just do two little crescent shapes like that and then stick them on like so and also i think he should have some sort of oh that's a bit of a big collar isn't it oh, mine's a really bad piggy yeah does he look like a pig yeah mine's he looks like a pig doesn't he is he your pig <laughs> oh i forgot my collar there's a pig next one what should we do next should we do a fish uh yeah i like fishies right for the fish this time we're going to put your hand like that. Like that. Yeah? And you're going to draw around your fish like that. Okay, so you've got that sort of a shape. Okay, and then we're going to round that off. So that is the front of your fish. Mine's 
a very flat face. Put a little mouth on there. Okay, and an eye as well. I'm doing this upside down, which is very hard to do. Yeah, have we done that bit? Yes, it's a very flat faced fish. It needs a fin, like that. And if it's a clownfish, should we do some squiggles on? Oh, I like clownfish, they're really cute. Reminds me of Nemo. There oh, we yeah, go. Draw Nemo. Should we do a big fin at the top? And a big tail as well. There we go. There is our fish. Just from our hands. Fantastic. Should we do one more? Oh, go on. Let's Should we do a shark? Oh, shark with big jaws. So, shark. is left we do your thumb further down okay but move it slightly towards the edge of your paper because oh, yes. we're going to make it longer at the back so draw around your hands going down to the bottom there right stop there once you've got to that stage and on this bit you're going to do a thing at the bottom yeah have it extended out a bit and we're going to create a big tail like that. Yeah, I've done a big tail. Now, what are, what are sharks famous for having? Teeth. Teeth. So, teeth, top and bottom. Yeah. Do sharks have other fins as well as? They have a top fin, don't they? Big top well, fin. I made the wrong way round. Put some eyes in it. Mine looks a very lazy sort of a one. We've forgotten another fin. There should be another fin at the bottom. There, look at him. Left behind. It's all right. Do you want to do some lines on the side there, the gills? Fantastic. And there we have our hand 